Hello and welcome to GEL 1005 Natural Disasters at Illinois Valley Community College. I'm your instructor Mike Phillips and this slide show is going to be just kind of a brief overview of the course with a real focus on kind of how the course is going to work over the course of the semester. So you can see right here on this first slide we've got some information. You've got my name and some contact information including my office phone number and my email address. Most students uh, email me. When you do, it's a really good idea to put GEL 1005 in the subject line. When I know an email is from a student about a course, uh, those are the first emails that I respond to every day. So a little bit more information. And you can also see I have a website here. There's uh, contact information and, and other information about the course available on my website. So what are the goals of this course? Well, we want to explore a variety of natural disasters and we want to analyze the role and impact of science on identifying and planning for natural disasters. We'll get straight to the important stuff. What is graded? Each week we will have a unit that we will discuss. The first two units are kind of an intro to the course and then the next nine units are individual natural hazards and we'll discuss each of those hazards in detail and you'll be submitting homework on that. So you'll notice here it says the weekly discussions are worth 10 points each and then there's homework each week that's going to be 20 points and there are two term projects. Now, if you think about it, the semester is actually 16 weeks. So these weekly unit discussions, that's 11 out of the 16. At midterm, we'll take two weeks to work on the midterm project. At the end of the semester, we'll have another couple weeks set aside uh, for you to complete the final project. And altogether, that will add up to our, to our 16 weeks for the course. So a lot of people are like, projects, oh no. So what does that mean? Well, we don't have exams in the course. You'll notice what is graded. There's no exams on this list. Um, because this course is about natural hazards and how to deal with them, um, at midterm and then at the end of the semester, you're going to do projects uh, instead of an exam. So you're going to do some research. You'll pick a natural hazard and you'll research how it impacts the area where you live. And there's a lot more detail on this um, provided at the midterm when we get to that. And I'll actually show you some places where you can go online if you want to look ahead and kind of see what exactly does this entail. Uh, there's a lot of information that's available to you already um, if you kind of navigate through the course website. So the way this course is going to work most weeks is on Sunday. A new topic will become live in Brightspace and I'll show you around the Brightspace site as well so you can see where everything is located. Um, there will be weekly questions for homework and discussion. And from Sunday through Saturday what you'll do is you'll explore the topic. You can read about it in the textbook. You can use some web sources that I provide. And what's super important here is there's a group discussion in Brightspace. So you're going to talk to other students in the class and I monitor the group discussion to make sure everybody's on track and the information presented there is correct. Um, and then on Sunday at the end of the week your homework is going to be due. And the homework question is the same as the discussion question. So the idea here is that you discuss it during the week and then you come up with your final answer and you submit that as your homework. So that means you want to explore that topic. There's going to be a reading assignment in the textbook so that you can use that as a source of information. But there's also lots of information available on the internet. I've got some recommended links and certainly you can look up some links on your own. And the group discussion, again, this is going to keep coming up. You're going to take those questions into the group discussion and work with the folks in your group um, to get more information and to kind of check what your thinking is. And this will make a lot more sense as we move through the semester. 
So discussing the topic is going to happen in Brightspace. Um, you're going to stay within your group and I'm going to show you kind of how that group setup works in a few slides. Uh, but the requirement is going to be that you post on at least three different days during the week. Now why do I do that? Well, if this is to be a discussion, there has to be people saying things and people responding to those things that are said. Um, saying things mean you could either throw an idea out there or you can answer somebody else's question or you can ask a question and then other people in the group are going to respond to that. And it's that exploration of the topic during the week that's really going to help you at the end of the week come up with your final answer uh, that you're going to submit it as homework. And um, in the Brightspace discussion area is going to be a list of like who's in your discussion group. So in order to keep this manageable, uh, the discussion is broke, the course is broken into four different groups um, and you'll complete your discussion each week within your group. So how is Brightspace set up? Well, when you click into Brightspace for this class, the first thing you'll encounter is the announcement page. And so any uh, current announcements, those will be right up at the top. And when I post an announcement, Brightspace should send it to your IVCC email account as well. So um, it's a good idea to come into Brightspace and check for those announcements in case it didn't show up in your email, but um, it should show up there. And then we have a content area um, and when you get into Brightspace, what you'll see is there's a bar across the top, a navigation bar. So the course home, that's where you'll see the announcements. And then if you click on content, you'll get to this page, which lists the table of contents for the class. Now, not everything is in here, so don't get too confused. And we'll discuss, uh, talk about discussions and assignments in a minute. But on the content page, you'll find the table of contents and right there at the top right here and over here it says eCampus Inclusive Access that's where the textbook is you're going to click on that and that'll take you through to the textbook for the course if you want a paper copy of the textbook that is possible um, you would want to contact the bookstore about getting that uh, course information is where you're going to find more information about this course if you click on course information, you'll see this list of things. Course requirements, you wanna read through that. It's got a lot of details that we're not covering in this slideshow. Um, schedule, if you click on that, it will take you to the schedule for the whole semester. And there are links to every unit that we're gonna cover, including the term projects. So lots more information you can get to by linking through the schedule. Um, where it says class discussion and bottom line, that's just going to be some more detailed information about the course requirements and about what you should be doing. Um, if you want to know more about the term projects, you can click on that and it'll give you a lot more detail on the requirements. There's a grading rubric. There's a, an outline for the term project. So anybody that wants to get started early, you can certainly do that. Um, <clears throat> And then course objectives is listed down here at the bottom. The other thing you'll find here if you look on the left hand side is you'll notice it says course docs. Um, each week new information will become available there. Um, but that information is also in assignments and you can also get to it through the little schedule link here. So any of those places will get you to that information. So the next thing we want to talk about is where you're going to be doing most of your work, which will be the discussion board and the assignments. Um, the discussion board, uh, well actually let's go to assignments first. Um, when you go to assignments, this is what you will see. Now if you click on where that blue thing where it says Unit 1, Introduction to Natural Hazards, that's going to take you right into the Dropbox. So you don't want to go there right away. Um, you're going to go there at the end of the week to submit your homework. Um, but underneath it says attachment, unit questions and resources. That's the link you want to click on because that's going to give you the questions 
that you're going to be discussing during and exploring during the week. And it will also give you a link to um, information on what to read in the textbook and other useful information online. There's articles and websites and stuff uh, that I've curated and put there. So that attachments thing, that's where you're really going to find a lot of useful information. So you kind of want to start there so you know what we're discussing for the week. You can review some of the resources. And then you'll click on discussions up there at the top and that will take you to this page. Um, now right up front you'll notice at the top here we have Ask Mr. Phillips. That's a place where you can ask some general questions about the class. The reason that we have that there is um, so that if there's some question about I don't understand you know what you want for discussions or I don't understand like where the homework goes or, or some general question like that. Um, if you ask and I, I will answer that then other students who have similar questions can kind of see that in there and they'll either find an answer to a question they might have or they can post something and then that will benefit everyone else. So that's what Ask Mr. Phillips is. Uh, where you're going to spend much more time though however is down there where it says Group 1 Weekly Discussion. Now if you scroll down the page there are four discussion groups and so you'll want to find your discussion group. Once you do that and you'll see that underneath the discussion group name there'll be a list of the students that are in the group. In this case you might click on group one weekly discussion if that's your group or if you scroll down the page there's groups two, three, and four. And when you click on that you will get to here. And you'll notice there's a blue button that says start a new thread. It also lists the members again so you can double check. Um, what you would want to do first is look and say, is there a thread discussing what I'm interested in? If there is, you click on that thread name. In this case, there are two of them showing Unit 1 Course Goals, Unit 1 Success. So you would click on one of those. If none of those meet your needs, you can start a new thread, uh, give it an appropriate title, and then other students in the group can come in and respond to that. When you click on a thread, you'll see this. You can see there's a question, what do you plan to gain from taking this course? And there's a blue button that says reply to the thread. So you'll click on there and reply. And as the week goes on there will be a lot of replies in here. Students having a discussion, asking questions, throwing out ideas uh, for other students to comment. And that's really where you'll get a lot of information um, and can kind of test your ideas before you submit your final answer as homework at the end of the week. And so at the end of the week you'll go back here to assignments, you'll click on that week, so in this case it'll be unit one, and you'll be able to submit your homework there. A few other details I want to mention before the slideshow's done. Um, again, this is where you can reach me via email. If you're having trouble submitting your homework, you can always just email it to me. And you can also have private discussion like what's my grade, what, you know, personal things that you don't want to share with everybody else. So the discussions are going to conclude on Saturday. Now this first week of the semester, um, we actually go a week and a half. Since we start on a Wednesday, we don't want to have a shortened week, so we go for a week and a half. Um, and then at the end of that time period, that's when you submit your homework. And the Dropbox is not going to be open until Thursday before it's due. And that's to ensure that students are really participating in that discussion before they come up with their final homework answer. So it would be like at the end of the day on Thursday, really Friday, Saturday, Sunday is when you can submit your homework. So the first topic is going to be how you're going to succeed in the class. You're going to have that discussion in your groups. And then at the end of the discussion period, you'll be submitting your homework. And so, so that's basically it. And if you have more questions and want to know more, the best place to do it is in the discussion board in Brightspace. So I hope to see you there soon.